here's a problem that I labeled as a challenge problem. Um, not because the math is really hard or anything, but it's a little confusing to look at this problem and try to figure out what's going on. So I have an accelerating wedge here, and by virtue of its acceleration, it's able to keep a mass stuck at exactly the same height, even though the ramp is frictionless. So to understand this physically, uh, before I even start writing down uh, coordinate axes and vectors and the rest of it, um, why should this even be possible? The way I think of it is, well, what if you shot this ramp really fast with, with just an absolutely enormous acceleration to the right? I think your phys physical intuition tells you this mass is going to slide upward and pop off the back of the ramp. And so if you had just the right acceleration, we should be able to keep this thing at exactly the same height. So because it has exactly the same height through the entire problem, that inspires me to use a horizontal vertical coordinate system instead of the usual tilted coordinate system that you might see for a lot of uh, ramp problems. So my height is going to be constant. Um, in other words, my y acceleration for this xy set of axes is going to be zero, and that should be useful. So let's get our force vectors in here. I have gravity, of course, pulling down with a magnitude of mg. And we're not decomposing this into any new components like we normally do for incline problems because we're using a horizontal vertical coordinate system. Um, it looks like the only other force I can think of here is the normal force, and that points perpendicular to the surface. So I'll put it in here like this. OK. It would be useful to figure out this angle right here and this shouldn't be too shocking, but it's going to turn out to be exactly the same as the angle of incline. So just to remind you of that, if I were to look at the perpendicular to the ramp, we've already justified that that is equal to the angle of incline. And then I can see that these two angles are congruent. So this is also equal to the angle of incline. OK, so then um, maybe I'll just pause for a second and and ask, like, how is the physics possible here that, that I'm witnessing? Well, I've got to hold this mass up against the force of gravity, and the normal force has a vertical component that could do that. Also, the mass is accelerating to the right with an acceleration of A, so I need a rightward net force on it. And, oh, there's a component of the normal force that could do that. So I think, in, in principle, the problem is solved. I'm going to look at this component of N, and that's going to be an N cosine theta for this component of n and that's going to be an n sine theta and now I can do the Newton's second law analysis in the horizontal and vertical directions so just putting in I guess I'll move over here the x direction analysis n sine theta is the net rightward force on this mass so that should be equal to m a a points purely to the right so it's just the entire a to the right the y analysis is that, well, my forces are balanced here. I had, this mass is not moving up or down at all. It's going in a straight line to the right because it's staying at constant height. So n cosine theta pointing up better be equal to mg pointing down. All right, then I've got to figure out, like, what do I want to get out of this? What are the knowns and unknowns? And I'm trying to solve for a. So I want that. And then another unknown in the problem is n. Um, I could simply solve for n in the bottom equation. It's mg over cosine theta, and then plug it in up here. But I would like to practice a really useful and common trick instead. I'm going to take the top equation and divide by the bottom equation. So this gives me n sine theta over n cosine theta equals ma over mg. And the purpose of that was to cancel the normal force because I'm not interested in it. And what I'm left with on the left-hand side is the tangent function. So the tangent of theta is equal to A over G. And so finally we get kind of a beautiful answer to this problem. A must be equal to G tangent theta to keep that mass at a constant height. So again, it was a challenge problem because when you first look at it, it can be really confusing to figure out even how to start. 
Um, after doing the force analysis, though, it became clear um, how to analyze this thing using Newton's second law, and then the math wasn't particularly hard on this problem.